Could you imagine taking a simple WordPress blog, installing one plugin, and by the end of a few short hours, you have over 100 websites fully installed, fully automated, and fully monetized, posting content like the articles, Amazon products, eBay products, ClickBank products, Flickr images, Yahoo Answers, and press releases? Well, it's not only possible, it's easy. Introducing the multi-site content poster. Okay, now that we've installed the root level blog on our testing site here, and we've also set up wildcard subdomains, we're ready to actually log in and upload the MCP uh, multiple multi-site content uh, poster and start activating the software. So you want to log in and hopefully you've remembered your username and password. If not, you can recover. And where we are right now is in the admin section. And there is a difference between admin for a root level blog and a network blog. But if you look now, we do not have a network activated or a multi-site activated plugin or a website. When you do the installation of the multi-site content plugin, it's going to configure that for you automatically. So you don't have to edit any code. Isn't that cool? So to do that, what you got to do is you got to go over to plugins and we're going to install a plugin. Add new. What we're going to do is upload and you want to browse to where your um, MCP plugin is. And it's always labeled WP MPP. Select it. Open. And then click install. Now this is going to upload the file and install it and you want to make sure you activate it. This will automatically do a lot of different things for you. But we still need to configure the site to use the plugin. So that's the first thing we do is go down here to the multi-site content poster and edit settings. This is where you're going to put in your email address that you use to purchase the program. This will validate that you actually have a valid um, license for the software. Now we sell two different types of license. One that will allow you to use it on a single domain and one that will allow you to use it on unlimited domains. One's $77, the other is $197. Simply type in your email address and hit submit. And when everything's done, it should come out immediately and say that uh, um, the multi-site content poster is successfully activated. You need to go to the settings page to set things up. So you click on that link to go to the settings page. And you can elect to use it as a subdomains or subdirectories. We want to say subdomains. That's why we did the wildcard subdomains. And we'll have a network title and a network email address. We just leave that alone. We scroll down and tell it to install. This is going to create our multi-site system. Okay. None of this information right here needs to be done. It's all taken care of for you. You just need to log in. And it is set up and ready to use as far as a multi-site is concerned. Now you can tell us multi-site because you come over here to this little link and you select admin down and you can now see network admin. Now we have a whole video elsewhere on the website that shows you the difference between uh, multi-site using network admin and multi-site um, for a individual website admin. But we're going to go back and focus on configuring the multi-site content poster. Go into edit settings couple things you absolutely need. You can always create global uh, keyword excludes. This would be any words that you feel are inappropriate for your site. Since we are giving you the ability to use Amazon and also um, the ability to use uh, eBay, 
what we're going to need you to do is complete these forms. First thing you want to do is always set up a redirect page. This will cloak your affiliate links. I highly recommend you just use something like Go. You have to have, in order to make this work, your Amazon information. If you're not selling Amazon and you're not going to use that feature, you could just type in not applicable or NA. If you are going to sell Amazon, you'll need to have your Amazon ID, your API key, and your secret access key. All that information will be provided on another video. The great part of it is, once you install blogs in your subdomains, it's going to automatically pull this information so you don't have to do it uh, every time. Okay? So, um, you also want to tell it if there's any specific pagination you want for articles. I never use this. And you can set up your, ads, your uh, eBay information too. Then there's YouTube. You want to use Safe Search, and you can um, set up various different recommended sizes. You can just leave it default. The final thing you want to do is uh, tell it whether to use our Pseudocron system or to use a Unix cron. You absolutely will get the best results by using the Unix cron. So you want to disable the Pseudocron and hit Save Changes. Now, the next video is going to show you how to set up that cron job in cPanel. And then we'll go through showing you how to set up the rest of the multi-site content poster, how to add sites, and then also how to mass create them.